one time before. It was way back in, wait for it, January when it sold out completely. We bring it back in today and Mark Charles has put together 150 of his favorite easy everyday favorite recipes, meaning every recipe can be made with things you have in your pantry, your refrigerator, your freezer, or things that could easily be sourced at your local supermarket. Now, we have this available at a great price of $17.96. We also have it on two easy payments, 150 recipes inside. We also have the author himself. Mark Charles Massilli is here. Come in, young man. Howdy. Welcome How back. How are you? I can Happy also fourth. tell you that I felt so strongly about this book what? that I wrote the forward for it. You did. Yes, I That's did. A favor to me. Look at this. So you'll find my forward inside and my thoughts and my uh, musings about your great mm -hmm. book. Oh, musings they are. Yes, and there are some <laughs> there are amusing musings in there. If you know David and I, there's lots of musings. Exactly, there usually is. So gorgeous photos of the book. We're going to talk all about that. Mm -hmm. But first, let's get to ice cream before yeah, it melts. Because you know why? Ice cream, it's 4th of July, it's ice cream. I haven't shown this before. It's the mint chocolate chip ice cream sandwiches. Wait, 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 wait. Look what I have, you have for you. have one back here? No, no, not just one, but wait. These get wrapped individually with parchment paper in your freezer, so you take them out like this. You can cut them in squares or triangles and eat and enjoy. Make your own. Hey, how many are gone now, Stan? So try that. Okay, 700 books, Mark Charles. Okay, cool. 700. Cool. Welcome home from San Francisco. Thank you. Welcome home from San Francisco. Nice to have you with us out there. Mm. And what do you think? How about making your own? I love mint chocolate chips, my favorite flavor. The secret in that is when the ice cream gets soft, I put a, an extra batch of chocolate chips inside and it's more smoothed around. So you get even more chocolate. Yes. And then Amazing. cutting them into squares, individually wrapping them, and then putting them in maybe like uh, sandwich bags, you know, like to zipper them, clo closing them. Yeah, or parchment paper. And like they're this. ready to go That's anytime so you want them for the summer. You make them once and you got it for the summer. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So we had to start with dessert, and it's ice cream. We had to do that. Yum, All yum, right. Yum. One All of right. the things that I'm known for and I love is my what my kids call my dad's be best mac and cheese. Why? It's really ooey and gooey, but not only that, there's three kinds of cheese. We put Gouda, I put cheddar, and we put mozzarella in our mac and cheese. Oh. And it makes it awesome. And then you don't use breadcrumbs on the no. top. You use something very different. Yes, yeah, something that's uh, salted, and it's a cracker, and you get to crumble it on top at the very end with some butter on top of melted butter. Oh. So you have that, because I know right. that you are the connoisseur of well, mac and cheese. Well, I will say that I would like to say I'm second command with the mac and cheese. I've eaten, I've eaten my fair <laughs> share, I'll tell you that. All right. So we love that. So that's what we call the de the dad's best mac and cheese because the kids love it. So it is best mac and right? cheese. Thank that's you, buddy. awesome. Thank wow, you, buddy. is that good? Yes. All right. I'm gonna All have right. a little more of that. Now it's Fourth of July. We're talking about barbecues, right? I have better than best barbecue, better than ever barbecue ribs. Why these are because we do a rub and then a sauce. But here's the secret: you do this in the morning, and this is slow cooker cooking. That means you put it on before you leave for work. You come back, and you got this. Let me show you the results. David, what I love about this is with the slow cooker and the rub, and I gotta put this, I'll put this down here and show you this. Everything's gonna fall apart on you, and you get the sauce as well as, look at that. Take and when that the bone. rib comes out that cleanly, it's and perfectly I would love prepared. And I would love you to try a piece of that, my friend. It. Thank you. And again, the secret to the, to the ribs, especially for 4th of July and the summer, mm. is the rub first. In a slow cooker with the sauce on top of it. That sauce is great. Cool, right? Mm. Now, we <laughs> promised <laughs> off the top of the show, Mark mm. Charles, that we would explain how to get them. the crispiest fried chicken okay. in the universe. This is it right here. So, here's my little secret it's in the book. Before you bread the chicken, it's going to go in an ice bath of ice cold water, ice and water, in a bowl, okay. soaking for 30 minutes. Got it. To keep the meat nice and firm before you bread it, you're going to get crispy fried mm. chicken. And by the way, I have Meredith's fryer. Love it. This can be made in Meredith's fryer as well, the air fryer. Okay. So we look what we like in it. I think this and one's a happy day. You're a southern yeah. boy. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Chicken. This is so good. You like right? I so, like. I like that the the coating is also nicely seasoned. And to do that inside, and then have the option to do it in Meredith's air fryer. I love right. Mm. Okay, so All right, let me show the book. Oh, okay, got it. Real quickly. <laughs> we were eating. Sorry. I know. Good gracious. <laughs> All right, so. Gorgeous color photos. Recipes are contained to a page, Mark Charles. Yep. So you're you know, you're not gonna have to turn a page to get the rest of I the recipe. I want it cleanly, so you could shop easy, and then also write your notes easy. Notice the white space around mm. there, David. There's the mac and cheese. Dad's we do a best lot of great mac and cheese. Yep, love, right? So good. So many great recipes. How many are gone now, Stan? 
1,500 books are gone. Uh, the first and only time it was on the air, here's the meatloaf. We're going to taste the meatloaf. Yep. Um, Homestyle meatloaf. First time we had this on the air in January, it sold out completely. Over 1,500 books are gone today. We're on Easy Pay today. There are some great pictures of Mark Charles. You're going to love the great reading. You're going to love the great photos, but more importantly, love the great food. Now, those are chocolate peanut butter cut brownies, yep. but uh, we're going to talk to meatloaf right quick. Meatloaf. meatloaf. Also, another thing you can do in Meredith's air fry, which I've done. Love it. The two ingredients we love. Is we put caramelized onions on top, which are so easy to make. Right. But more importantly, what the secret ingredient is, is there ready for this? White bread, sliced white bread, sandwich oh. bread. Oh. And it binds everything together beautifully, and it's mm. airy. Instead of using like a lot of bread crumbs or anything thick, a thickening agent, this is the way to do it, I think. And it's a great listen. This book was made because everybody's caramelized on the onions on yeah. top. Yeah. And by I the way, I thought I tasted onions. By the way, you can always load more if you'd like. <laughs> it doesn't I was have also to be saying, like. <laughs> you could throw a couple slices of bacon on there yeah, too. Yeah, that one hurt anybody's feet. And then here's the point: we gave you blank space in the cookbook. Mm. So write down: I made it on July 2nd, and I added bacon for Aunt Mabel and Uncle Frank. So it becomes a diary for you. So when you pass the book down, or maybe even going years later, you can see when you made it, what you changed on it, and what you made it your own. 2,500 books are gone. Ooey gooey, gooey. melty okay. cheese bread. So you know when you get the pizza and it. Over after it's this is what the concept is. So we took a French bread, we put ranch dressing, mayo, and cream cheese in between. Wait, wait, wait the slow down. In between the cheese. Ranch dressing. dressing. Yep. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise and cream cheese. And cream and cheese. And then cheese is over. There's only and five then ingredients. You smeared it on, on the top. bread yep. and then broiled it in the oven? Yeah. What? Yeah. And here's the best part: it can go cold and room temperature, and it's still just as good because it crusts over like room temperature pizza. Hello. Oh my word, uh, that's good. Isn't that good? That is, uh, I'm yeah. never making garlic bread any other way. Yeah, and that's just an easy thing you can have for any side dish, any parties. It's easy, and you can do it on a French bread, a baguette, a rolls. You can do it in sourdough because we were just in San Francisco. Mark Charles, sourdough. is it ranch dressing or the or the powder ranch? You're making the powder ranch dressing. The little packet. So you take the packet, mm -hmm. make it, ma uh, make it with sour cream. Yep, and then cream cheese and mayo. And you add cream cheese and mayo yep. to it. Mm -hmm. That's the no calorie left behind ooey gooey bread. <laughs> All right. Mm. Don't and again, like there's always things you can do with that. If you like French onion dip, you can actually change that up and do the French onion dip. You can make it your own. Nothing's like Here's stringent. a seasonal treat. Okay, so we love this. So here, I'm going to wait. I've got a bowl cream. and black the ice cream. It's got to go in the ice oh, cream. Okay. Hello. <laughs> there you go. All right. This so, one is your strawberry rhubarb, rhubarb cookie um, cobbler. So yeah. what's secret about that? There are biscuits on top of there. Yes. And rhubarb is in season now. And yes, if you it want is. summer in a bowl, that's the way to do it. My both, uh, my mom's mom made a grew her own rhubarb and strawberries, and then she would make pies and cobblers. So there's two ways of doing. You 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 put the rhubarb on top of the ice cream. You could also do the rhubarb and put the ice cream on top of the rhubarb. So again, there's no rules. I'm a home cook. I'm in a rush. I've got a family. We're always busy. This is the point of this cookbook. I don't want exotic in ingredients. I don't want a lot of time. Right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. We hit, we hit, we hit peak. Oh, We're good. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Happy dance, happy dance. That's the second one. Woo. Mark Charles, that's some of the best I've ever had. Right? Like? I love thank strawberry you, rhubarb. You, Chris Prime made a cross strawberry rhubarb pie. Yes, a couple she did. <laughs> And that, oh my. And again, having so it in good. season always really helps. So you're talking about summertime. Even though these are warm, I think this is all about barbecues, families, easy, by the way, weeknights. This isn't like special occasions. These recipes, it's 150 that I did. This is a Tuesday pot pie and a Wednesday meatloaf. And it's nice and quick and easy, but it also changes it up for you and your family in a very simple way. And I love the fact that you do not have to go anywhere exotic to get any of these ingredients because they will be in your pantry, if not your local supermarket, not a specialty supermarket. It, your local supermarket. It'll be on the shelf. So I love that. And again, make it your own. Add bacon to something or a spice. Which one's that? The thing? Okay. My red and cheese. Now, what do I? Oh, I we have not back. talked about my Tuesday taco taters. All right. Why are these great? Talk to me about them. So potato tots are the hottest rage. Let me bring these out for you. And nachos. So we took loaded nachos and melded them. Instead of using nachos, we used the potato tots. And here you go. You've got a loaded thing for any. Party, any game night. Um, I'm eating this one, sorry. Um, it's got the chilies, it's got the jalapenos on it, and the olives, a little bit of dollop of sour cream. This is a way to take loaded nachos, which you always have, and put it, turn it on its head. Now, I will tell you, oh my. What's up? Family sized oh, pizza yeah. rolls. That's a good one, too. Look at this. I need to let you know now, over half the quantity we brought in is gone. We are very, very busy. This uh, Mark Charles's book is not just customer top rated. I have to toot your horn for you, sir. Why? Every single rating is five stars. Every one? Now it's hard enough to get a top rating from our, uh, you know, on any product at QVC. When a cookbook gets five stars, cookbooks are very subjective. 
Some folks may or may not like the recipes. They may or may not give you a great rating. Uh -huh. When every rating is five stars, young man, that's a good thing. They like it. Thanks, everybody. They like it. They don't just <laughs> like it. They love it. Awesome. Summer blueberry pie. Mark Blueberry's Charles teaches you how to do a lattice crust. Which, by the way, is a lot easier than it looks. So trust me, I break it down for you. It makes it so beautiful. This Ooh, strawberry I'm rhubarb. I'm dripping some blueberry, mm. but that's okay. I can lick it up. This Ooh, strawberry. You know what you could also do is take mm. the strawberry rhubarb. What? And make a lattice pie out of that too. You can. Lattice is very easy, by the way. And I give you a step by step. It's really, really easy with. Although I have to say that cookie crust is delicious. Well, that's just the biscuits that we took on top of it. So. Well, you made them sweet. It tastes like sugar well, cookie dough. We put sugar cookie dough on top of it. There's biscuits and then sugar cookie dough. Biscuits, then sugar cookie yeah. dough? By the way, in the refrigerator section of your refrigerator, your um, super Over 6,000 <laughs> are gone. There's even a maple yam bake for Thanksgiving with graham cracker topping. Great photos of Mark Charles. Are these in your kitchen, Mark Charles? Yeah, no, they were at a studio. At a studio. Yeah, because well, you we know what? So oftentimes we do that. We, right? My kitchen's not big enough <laughs> for the cameras. Well, I think, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Crunchy broccoli salad, one of my faves. So, really great, great recipes. Ham salad cracker spread. Yum. And what I love about these, a lot of these were inspired from all the years I've been doing gadgets. So, some of these are done with the gadgets, you know, that I make, the can opener and the pull and chop and all that. So, you already have all these gadgets. Now you can actually have some fun making something I'm with them. Making it. that ooey, gooey, cheesy. Yeah. No calorie. Oh, I know. By the way, really simple. Five ingredients, like 10 minutes, you're done. With your pasta and meatballs? Okay, if you must. Yep, I must. <laughs> All right, what's <laughs> happening next? Going this way. I'll see you later for oh, a new product. I will see you later for a new product, yes. All right, we're making my summer fruit wedges. Now, earlier, we hollowed out the lime, um, we cut the limes lengthwise, spooned out all of the inside of the lime, then made up our gelatin. And now we're going to pour it into the little uh, the little lime boats. Fill it just below the top, so you can get this going. You we're using our little OXO beater, uh, beaker rather. That would be beaker. Um, and these will go back into the fridge to chill. Now what's going to be fun? Once these chill and set up, we're going to take them back out of the refrigerator, cut them into wedges, take. Peanut butter, excuse me, well, not peanut butter, we're gonna take chocolate chips and press it into it, make it look like the seeds of a watermelon. So cute, right? Um, are some of these, oh, some are done. I'm sorry. I thought they all had to go into the fridge. My bad. All right, sorry, let me get after this. Get in here, cut this into a wedge. And then, once it's into a little wedge, looks like a watermelon wedge, take your chocolate chips point side in and just press them into the gelatin. Isn't that fun? Now, I don't have time to do any more, sadly, but our food stylist, Karen, will take care of me, because she always does. She's my angel. So we're going to get all this taken care of. I didn't realize some of this was chilled. I know you told me that earlier, and I forgot. It's hard to imagine that I 